Do pro-life laws put women's lives in danger? Can physicians in Texas treat a woman who experiences a miscarriage, ectopic pregnancy, or other life-threatening pregnancy event? My name is Dr. Ingrid Skop. I have been a practicing obstetrician gynecologist in Texas for over 30 years, caring for tens of thousands of women and delivering more than 5,000 babies. I received my training from Washington University School of Medicine and my obstetrics and gynecology residency from the University of Texas Health Science Center at San Antonio. I serve as the Senior Fellow and Director of Medical Affairs for the Charlotte Lozier Institute. I am also a former board member of the American Association of Pro-Life Obstetricians and Gynecologists and a fellow of the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. My research on maternal mortality, abortion complications, and women's health has been published in multiple peer-reviewed journals. I have provided expert testimony at both the state and federal levels on legislation related to abortion, including the Texas legislation. Many of us have heard claims from the news media, from political candidates, and even medical professionals that pregnant women with pregnancy complications or life-threatening risk from serious medical conditions cannot receive the treatments they need to protect their physical health or even their very lives because of the pro-life laws in Texas. I want you to know these claims are completely false. The law allows doctors to use their reasonable medical judgment to determine when intervention is necessary in a pregnancy. There is no reason a doctor like myself cannot treat pregnant women who experience a miscarriage or have life-threatening conditions like ectopic pregnancy, premature rupture of membranes, hypertensive emergencies, cancer, or a host of other conditions that can put a mother's life in danger. Treating pregnant women with these conditions by following the medical standards of care, even if it means ending the pregnancy, puts physicians in no legal danger whatsoever. First, let's remember that as a physician who treats pregnant women, I have two patients, the mother and her unborn child. My goal is to protect both patients so that each can thrive during and after the pregnancy. In rare cases when a medical condition threatens the mother's life or puts her at serious risk of loss of a major bodily function, Texas law or indeed the law in any state with abortion restrictions provides an exception to allow me to save the mother's life. For example, by removing an ectopic pregnancy or inducing labor at an early gestational age to protect the mother from harm, even if knowing tragically that the unborn child will not survive, I can intervene. Never do I have to wait until the woman's death is imminent. Waiting is legally unnecessary and it might also be malpractice. That exception in Texas pro-life laws, in the Texas Heartbeat Act and the Human Life Protection Act, has been in our state's 20-week abortion ban since 2013, and it has operated very well. Additionally, it has been allowed in the federal Hyde Amendment since the late 1970s. Indeed, virtually the same exception language was upheld by the Supreme Court in the 1992 Planned Parenthood versus Casey decision. If you are a pregnant woman whose pr physician tells you he or she cannot treat your complicated pregnancy because of Texas abortion laws, you may need to find a new doctor. Please visit the Texas Alliance for Life, the Charlotte Lozier Institute, or the American Association of Pro-Life Obstetricians and Gynecologists websites for more information.